Good morning, Guardians. The Hijabi Gamer here, and it's already Friday. And we are in the tower from Original Destiny. As you can see, this is the tower from Destiny 1. The best tower. It's awesome. I miss this tower. When are they going to fix the tower in Destiny 2? I'm just saying. Anyway, as you can see, we are in Destiny 1. It's Friday. That means it's time for another Zer location video. Yes, Zer is back in the tower. And you know what? He doesn't have Trespasser, which means it's an okay week. You know, as long as Trespasser isn't up, it means there is at least some variety. You know, um, I don't know. I know people keep telling me Trespasser is good in PvP, but there are times when he carries it way too much. Anyway, as you can see, his mark is on the stairs. That means <laughs> Zer is in the tower. Oh, and there's a little dandelion right over there. Cool. Nice. Anyway. So it's pretty easy to locate Zer. You're just heading straight towards the back. Towards the vanguard. Towards Cade 6. Definitely wish Cade 6. Definitely miss Cade 6. There we go. Traditional guardian step on the table. For Get everybody's books, yada yada. Okay, because he is right over here by the printer. Okay, no, it's not a printer. There's, I mean, that unless it's mega ink. I mean, you know, you're never gonna run out of ink. Ah, it's probably not a printer. It looks maybe it's a heater and air conditioner, and that's yeah, it's probably a heater and air conditioner. Those look like gas canisters, and those boxes look like honestly cigarettes, smoke. Regret containers. Alright, so what does Zer have? I'm awake. So, Zer's got some interesting stuff. As you notice, no trespasser. Oh, I forgot the usual reminder. Don't forget. What was I saying? Right. I almost forgot. Don't forget, this is original Destiny Guardians. I can't believe I almost forgot that. This is important. This is original Destiny. That means Zer leaves the tower early in the morning on Sunday for me. In New Jersey, it depends on your location. I know people in, for example, South Africa or, you know, Australia, totally different times. So just keep in mind, for me in New Jersey, Zer leaves the tower Sunday morning. That means it will probably be very different for you, like 5 a.m. for me, okay? Um, he does not stay until reset. I saw that update with Destiny 2 saying that the reset has changed. I still haven't bought Lightfall. Let me know in the comments, Guardians, should I be getting Lightfall or not? the story sucks but that's not the main reason to get it because the story just sucks don't 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 even bother i have no idea what's going on anyway that aside we have a good week as i said i said there's, so we have less than 48 hours to locate Zer and buy whatever you need and there is some decent stuff that you should be buying from Zer. so what have we got so we've got the usual legacy engram which to me always feels like overpriced it's um 31 strange coins for a potential heavy weapon that maybe a year one, maybe a year two. You don't know what you're getting. You may already have it. So, way overpriced. Um, honestly, especially since you can get known stuff for cheaper. But, Legacy Anchor. I know a lot of people, I know a couple of people who are like, yeah, I've got a couple thousand strange coins. That's different. Then go right ahead. You never know. We might get something cool. Next, we've got no backup plans. Shotgun kills, so this is for the Titans. Oh, wait, I'm like half awake. Um, so for the Titans, we have no backup plans. As always, it leaves me with the question of what do they call it on a casual daily basis? Yo, did you bring your no backup plans? My guess is I'd call it the backups. Bring your backups. Shotgun kills trigger force barrier, and force barrier's duration is increased. Sounds kind of cool. Let me know. Titans, you like this thing? Sounds pretty good. Sounds decent. Not sure. Shotgun pull kills trigger force barrier. Yeah. Look, it's not in Hunter. I speak Hunter. I don't speak Titan. I, I don't deny the awesome kick assery of Titans, but I do speak Hunter. Okay. Okay. What do we got for the Hunters? It's one of my favorite exotics. The Frosties. Well, Frosty Five. I don't know. I call them the Frosties, and that's why I think people would call it. 
in general, frosties, while sprinting gain turn, tighter turn radius and faster grenade and melee melee regeneration. This is awesome. Usually, I alternate between the frosties and the celestial nighthawk, depending on the class I'm playing and what I'm doing. Celestial nighthawk is great to use against bosses. The frosties are great for just in general because you're Grenade and melee are faster regenerations, especially if, for example, you're going for um, Night Stalker. Then your your melee is your smoke bomb, which will give you invisibility. So that's one of the reasons I use it. Add there is a um, an a uh, artifact now. People often forget this. There is a cooldown in Original Destiny, so I always use the Memory of Yolder simply because I hate. But there is a artifact that I have used a few times that came with Rise of Iron. Um, I keep forgetting what it's called, but it eliminates your super. Here it is. The memory of Felwinter. Lose your super, but gain one extra grenade and melee charge and small boost to all stats. Orbs grant melee and grenade energy. What's great about this is so like if you were to use it with Night Stalker, you'd basically have nonstop grenades and melee which means you could basically run through stuff invisible. So I've used Memory of Felwinter sometimes. It, it's been a while. One well, reason I have used Memory of Felwinter is so that you could basically go through if you're going to go with an invisibility build, which I haven't done in a while, but there was a while where I was big on the whole invisibility, especially when you're trying to solo stuff by yourself. It's sometimes easier to just disappear from sight and let your health come back. Um, avoid the boss. So yeah, I used to do a lot of solo stuff with the um, Night Stalker build, but it's yeah, it's been a while. That's one of the problems with trying to solo stuff in Original Destiny. It's like you build up a whole like a whole pattern, a whole system on how you're gonna run something. You know exactly when everything, and then you forget how you did it. So like how I soloed this Nightfall. Well, you know, I'd be like, okay, this is when I throw this grenade and use this build, and then. Well, it's been a couple of years. And, um, but yeah, I used to do a lot of um, Night Stalker. So, Frosties and the memory of Felwinter. Um, I, said, I stick to the memory of the older mostly for the lack of speed. Anyway, so this is, a, this is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. I think the only other foot exotic, like shoe exotic, like boot exotic I use is uh, the Bones of Ao because it gives you an additional jump. It's great for jump puzzles, but this is a good one to have. Highly recommend it if you, even if you're not a hunter, because you never know, you might change your mind, right? Then we got for the um the Warlock, the Purifier Robes, activating Radiance from Death, disorientates nearby enemies. I know what Radiant, like, I'm guessing that is self res and that it disorients Enemies, sort of like when you return as in Warframe and everybody gets blown aside. I'm not entirely sure how this works because I don't speak Warlock. It makes me think it would work like in Warframe when you die and you, well, you don't really die. But you die and then you come back and everything gets blasted back. So I'm guessing this will disorient everyone around you. I don't know. Warlocks, let me know. Do you like the purifier robes? Is it a good thing to have? Okay. Cool. <laughs> right. Next, we have Truth. So this is a rocket launcher that is known for its trackings. So it's got the prototype Truth Seeker. Rounds fired from this weapon seek their targets aggressively. Yes. I don't know. I don't... Let me know in the comments below. I've never really been a big fan of Truth. I'm more of a fan... That sounds so weird. I've never been a fan of the rocket launcher, Truth. I've been more a fan of Galhorn because it's got cluster bombs. And this does not have cluster bombs. Oh, let me see. Why would I use something without cluster bombs? I mean, it doesn't have, um, excuse me. Yeah, it doesn't have it. Where you, th tripod, which means you could carry three rockets. None of those really good ones. So to me, Truce feels kind of disappointing. I feel like 
honestly one of my big rocket launchers I use a lot is the Hunger of Crota. Tra shells fired from this weapon track their targets. Plus, rockets create cluster bombs when they detonate. That, that's why I'm a big fan of this one. Um, the Hunger of Crota. More than truth. Let me know in the comments. Increases da increased damage to hive majors. So, yeah, this is more of my thing. I like the Hunger of Crota. I use it more even than Galahorn because Galahorn is on my level 12 hunter. You see, if you pre ordered Iron Galahorn, all right, if you, no, if you pre ordered Rise of Iron, your Iron Galahorn does not have a level limit. So, I have right now on my level 12 hunter, which I haven't played in a very long time, but I have a level 12 hunter that has a light 400 Galahorn. Yes. That's one of the things to keep in mind. Check the levels for exotics because not every one of them require, most of them, most of them require level 40, but not all of them. And if you have, and the thing is, if you dismantle your pre order iron Galahorn and reclaim it, then it requires an, a level, requires level 40, which is why on PlayStation, my iron Galahorn requires level 40 because I dismantled it because I think I had Galahorn at the time and it was like one of having both um or I needed sp I don't remember why but I dismantled it and then I reclaimed it so now it requires level 40 but my iron Galahorn on on Xbox which is on my hunter as I said I have a level 12 hunter maybe I'll use it for my next Zer video carrying a light 400 Galahorn which throws things off a little I'll, I'll, you know, I'll use it next time. I'll show you. Maybe I'll log into it right now and show you what I mean by having a level, um, f a le level 12 hunter. Anyway, next we have the Mita Multi-Tool and Arctic Survivalist. I like the Mita. I'm carrying it right now. Um, so the modifier you're getting is this one, which I don't have. Pretty cool. I'm just not a fan of white guns. I'm not a fan of anything just because white gets, doesn't stay white for very long. So, um. It's a pretty good one if you're off in the snow. You probably a great um use artifact ornament to use, say, on Europa. But this is the ornament you're getting. This is the one I have. It's called Special Ops. I like this one more. I think it's cool. This is what it looks like without it, which is also pretty cool. But I like Special Ops, so this is the Mita Multi Tool. I like the Mita. It's a um scout rifle but it's not too slow for me one of the things about scout rifles is sometimes the rate of fire is very very slow or the rate of fire isn't that slow but the impact is pretty weak this one has a decent rate of fire and a decent impact so i like the mita um it's got third eye which to me but it's also got lightweight which grants plus two character agility which like in destiny 2 then you get the mita and the mini, and they work together to give you more speed. So, yeah, I like the Mita. I even like the Mita in Destiny 2. Most of the exotics that they move from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2, I feel like they kind of, eh. But this one's pretty good. And you got, this weapon boosts move speed and fires on a hair trigger. And nothing special. Mostly, I like the Mita because of the rate of fire versus the impact. I'm sure there are non-exotics that are similar. But, yeah, Mita. At least it's not Trespasser. The other weapon we have is the Red Death, which we had last week. I highly recommend you pick it up. Seriously, just get Red Death. Red Death and White Witch. Even if the ornament, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of White Witch. I prefer the one I have, which is Steel Witch. Looks cooler. But this is the ornament you get, which is um, White Witch. Um, I like this one more, but Red Death is a great weapon to have, because Red Death, each kill heals you and speeds up reloads, which is great when you have Exposure in effect. Exposure is that modifier where your health is expanded. You have extended, like, more powerful shield. You have stronger shields, but your health does not regenerate. So, Red Death will, will heal you. Which is why it's great. So your health will improve. It's good. It's good to have. So you don't have to worry about exposure. I've used Red Death 
many times when exposure has been in effect, and it has been great. Um, there's also a section at Crota's end that your health does not regenerate. Just use Red Death, and it will, you know, it'll heal you. Also, like, I mean, if you're doing something, there was one point I was doing a challenge of the elders, and I was getting massacred because just a lot going on. And I used Red Death, and it just kept me going because every death, every kill will heal you. So I've said this every time it's come up, pick up Red Death. Make sure, you, at the very least, you get nothing else, get Red Death. It's just a convenient weapon to have. I would recommend Red Death over everything else here if you don't have it. It is just convenient to have. Um, let's see, I was just curious to see if there's other new, if there's any new players. So we've got, this isn't a new player, because I thought I saw earlier new players. Yeah, there we go. That's a very new player. Um, 130 Grimoire. So yeah, I'm going to keep seeing it. Bungie has new players. And it would be awesome, 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 if they brought Destiny, original Destiny, to PC. Because a lot of people, you know what, I, I think Destiny's, original Destiny is a better game um, than Destiny 2. Anyway, I said I would show my Hunter. I level 12 hunter. So, I mean, I've heard people saying that they're working on emulating it. I think it's the Xbox 360 or PS3 version um, for Destiny 1 for PC. But just bring it to PC. Anyway, as you can see, this is a level... Well, it's now level 13. This is my level 13 hunter. And what is equipped? Iron Gallahorn Light 400. Because as you can see, right over here, it doesn't require level 40. See this? It requires level 40. I also use my hunter, my second hunter for weapon storage. Um, all of these require level 40, right? But this does not. So the only problem with equipping a light 400 weapon with your... Um, low level character is you will get a lot of weapons when you go to um because your light level is so high it's too high at level 13 generally your light level isn't supposed to be 135 because of my ridiculously overpowered rocket launcher so i get a lot of so when i dis when i go to zur not zur sorry the cryptarch when i go to rahul with engrams he, um, it, it's not the legendary ones. Those are, guys, the legendary ones. I use my hunter as a storage for other stuff. But all of the blues, you'll notice, require, require like level 16 and level 23. Because my light level is so high that, it, it, you know, how, what, how, de what determines the light level for this stuff you decrypt, right? It's your, the average light level of all of your gear. So, he's going to give me stuff that's too high light for my level so i can't use this until level 19 i can't use this until 137 so it's a pain in the butt because most of the stuff so it's like you really i need to really unequip and the problem is i don't have any heavy that i can de un unequip so i'm stuck with it but you probably need to at least when you go to rahul <laughs> unequip your um Light 400 Iron Gallahorn. But yes, for those of you who don't believe me, because I mentioned before, as you can see, it's a Light 400 Iron Gallahorn on a level 13 character. There's no level lock on it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the tower.